let's transition. Let's talk some NBA and the Brooklyn Nets. So there are reports out of Brooklyn that James Harden has become frustrated with the Brooklyn Nets and their current situation. He's frustrated with Kyrie Irving only playing in half of the games that are on the road and not being able to play in the home games for the Brooklyn Nets. He's frustrated with the Brooklyn Nets as recently they have fell into a little, you know, a sluggish start since the beginning of the year. But, you know, Kevin Durant has been out. So that plays a factor into that. Also, it's reported that James Harden would be open to the possibility of teaming up with Joel Embiid and playing for the Philadelphia 76ers. We know that the 76ers, they have general manager Daryl Morey on their staff, and he has connections with James Harden, dating back to their days in Houston. So you know Daryl Morey wants to bring in James Harden and have a dynamic duo with James Harden and Joel Embiid. Because it's crazy. Like, I think Joel Embiid is having an MVP caliber season. Like, last year, the Joker, he won NBA MVP. But I said, I said even when he won NBA MVP, that Joel Embiid is still the best big man in the game when he's healthy. And this year, he's shown exactly that. You look at his numbers. Over the last four games, this is Joel Embiid. He had 42 points, 14 rebounds, shot 50% from the floor. 38 points, 12 rebounds, shot 50% from the floor. 40 points, 13 rebounds, shot 60% from the floor. And then he had 50 points, 12 rebounds, and shot 74% from the floor. He has been dominant so far this season and I think he is leading the NBA MVP race because Kevin Durant has been injured the last few weeks on the season Jordan Embiid he's averaging 29 points per game on 50 percent shooting from the floor 11 rebounds four assists so Jordan B is playing at a high level and it will be interesting to see Jordan B paired up with James Harden, I never believed in the duo with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. I always thought because of Ben Simmons' limitations offensively, I never felt like the Philadelphia 76ers were a true NBA championship contender because of Simmons' limitations offensively and because he can't shoot. You bring in James Harden with Joel Embiid, that is a NBA championship contender Instantly, if James Harden were to sign with the Sixers or if they made a trade for James Harden, if they made a trade for him, they would be instant contenders for a championship. Right there with Brooklyn, right there with the Milwaukee Bucks, right there with the teams also in the Western Conference, the Phoenix Suns, the Golden State Warriors, the Memphis Grizzlies. James Harden and Joel B would put the Philadelphia 76ers in that championship conversation. But the Sixers, they have yet to make the Nets a trade offer ahead of the February 10th trading deadline. So everyone's talking about, should the Nets listen to trade offers for James Harden? I say no, because I believe the Brooklyn Nets, they have to see what they have in this trio with Kyrie Irving, with James Harden, and with Kevin Durant. Because we saw last year in the postseason, because Kyrie Irving went down with a horrific ankle injury and was out for the rest of the series against the Milwaukee Bucks, and we saw James Harden, he was hobbled as well with a hamstring injury. We didn't see the Nets at their full potential. It was pretty much Kevin Durant and everyone else. like. And everyone else is a bad supporting cast, especially when you're going up against the likes of the Greek Freak and Giannis and a great Robin and Chris Middleton. 
you need Kyrie Irving and James Harden. So I thought in that series, I picked the Nets to beat the Bucks. And you remember, in I think it was game two last year, the Nets, they were beating the Bucks in that game at one point by 40. The final score was Nets 125, Bucks 86. So they beat the Brooklyn Nets, beat the Milwaukee Bucks by 40 in game two. And that was with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Now, in that game, there was no James Harden. So I want to see this Brooklyn Nets team in the playoffs with a healthy Kyrie Irving, healthy James Harden, and a healthy Kevin Durant. And I want to see where this Brooklyn Nets team can possibly go. Because I think if you have these three players who are all tremendous scorers, they are NBA championship contenders, and especially in the East. They'll win the Eastern Conference. And, I mean, you look at the Eastern Conference, you got the Philadelphia 76ers. They are fifth right now, you know, in the East. You got the Miami Heat. They are number one right now in the East with a 31-17 and 17 record. You got Jimmy Butler. You got Bam. But they have been dealing with a lot of injuries this year. They really, really have. Bulls, I like DeMar DeRozan. I think he's a legit NBA MVP candidate with Zach Levine. And we know in the NBA, when you got two players on a perimeter who are elite players, that's how you win NBA championships. We saw back in the Michael Jordan era with the Chicago Bulls. They had Michael Jordan, and they had Scottie Pippen. We saw LeBron in South Beach. LeBron, D-Wade on the perimeter, being able to win a championship. Even though they haven't won a championship, we've seen the L.A. Clippers with Paul George and with Kawhi Leonard, you know, be a team in the playoffs that competes for championships. So when you got two playmakers on the perimeter, like the Bulls have in Levine and DeRozan, you're in that championship conversation Cavaliers at 30 and 19 but I don't believe the Cavaliers are true championship contenders but in the Eastern Conference with a healthy Kyrie Irving a healthy Kevin Durant and a healthy James Harden I think they are the best team in the East and they can beat any of those teams from the Western Conference in the Phoenix Suns or the Golden State Warriors if all three are healthy if all three stars are healthy they can beat any of those teams from the West so I think they should remain patient and not panic and trade James Harden. I want to see Harden, Irving, and Durant in the postseason playing together. It's time. We have to see what they have. Because I believe if the Nets, you know, don't have the injuries that they had in the postseason last year, I think the Nets beat the Bucs. I really, really do. I think they beat the Bucs in that series. But – Credit to the Bucs. They got it done with Giannis and Middleton winning a championship for that Milwaukee Bucks franchise. But I, 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 I do believe that if you trade Harden and you got Kyrie Irving as a part-time player only playing in, you know, role games, then I think you are going to put all of that responsibility on Kevin Durant. We know he's more than capable at being able to carry your team. The man got the Nets to an overtime last year in the playoffs against Giannis and Middleton. Kevin Durant dragged that Brooklyn Nets team to overtime last year without Kyrie Irving and with a hobble James Hart. So I, I think if you put Kevin Durant in that position where you need him to carry your team, he's more than capable at being able to do it. But I think if you have a other stars like Kyrie Irving and James Harden on that team, I think this next team are legit championship contenders, and they are definitely the favorites to win the East for sure. So I think Sean Marks, that's the general manager for the Brooklyn Nets and head coach Steve Nash, to remain patient. I know Harden's a little bit frustrated. He's frustrated because he's seeing opposing fans come to Nets games and cheer on the opposing team. I'm watching the Lakers Nets game the other night. James Harden, he 
played in that game. He actually had a triple double in that game. I think he had like 32 points. And uh, I can't exactly remember everything else he had, but he, he, he played well in that game. I'm watching that game. Harden, he had 30, 33 points, 11 assists, 12 rebounds. I'm watching that game and I'm stunned at all of the Laker fans in attendance in Brooklyn for that game. I mean, it was Laker fans everywhere in the stands. And I'm like, is this a home game for the Lakers? Are they at Staples or are they at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn? Sounded like they were at Staples. That's how many Laker fans were in attendance. So whenever you have, <laughs> that's the issue that I think James Harden is dealing with. He's upset because the Nets, they aren't the Knicks. You go to a Knicks game, Knicks fans are everywhere in the stands and they have a big fan base. Nets, not so much. So I, I think Harden's a little bit frustrated with that. He's frustrated with the fact that Kevin Durant is injured and the, you know, the, the Nets right now, they are still a top four seed in the Eastern Conference, but things aren't going the way Harden thought they would go. They aren't going that way because he thought it's going to be me. It's going to be Kyrie Irving. It's going to be Kevin Durant. We all going to, we're going to ball out. You know, it, it's going to be a great team in Brooklyn that's competing for a championship, but you got Kyrie Irving, a part-time employee, but I don't disagree with Kyrie. I think Kyrie should stand firm on what he believes in. And I think those vaccine mandates are ridiculous. So I don't blame Kyrie for not being able to play in home games, but you look at the Brooklyn Nets, they've lost three, three straight games. They lost Sunday at Minnesota, 136 to 125. They lost Tuesday home against the Lakers, 106 to 96. And then they lost Wednesday night against the Denver Nuggets, 124 to 118. So Harden's frustrated. He's frustrated because Durant's out and Kyrie Irving's a part-time player. He'll get a chance to play with Kyrie Irving Saturday night, though. They play at Golden State. That game is going to be on ABC. So it's a big-time matchup. Nets, Warriors in the Bay. And then you got at Phoenix on Tuesday, February the 1st. That's going to be a big-time matchup as well. So these two next, these two games next for the Nets are going to be crucial. It's going to be crucial, and I want to see how they perform in those games against other elite teams. Warriors and the Suns, they're two of the best teams in the Western Conference. No Kevin Durant, but you got Kyrie Irving out there with James Harden. Hopefully Kyrie can come back, play at a high level. Nets win a few games on this West Coast road trip, and James Harden won't be unhappy in the coming weeks.